Hey guys, welcome back to The Privacy Guy. Today I just want to make a quick video about tokenization. Um, I've heard a lot about it. Um, we've heard, you know, there might be some confusion about one, what are tokens? And then what is tokenization? What does that mean in, uh, in the sense of using tokens to kind of protect sensitive data? Um, so first of all, what is tokenization? Uh, it's basically a process for exchanging sensitive data for non-sensitive data um, called tokens that can be used in a database or you know internal storage system without bringing that data um, kind of into a transparent and visible state. Um, basically tokens are unrelated values. They retain certain elements of the original data. So like you know the length or the format of that data, um, but they um, safely store the sensitive data, so like people's names or you know driver's license number, or social security number. They take that information and store it outside of the organization systems. Um, basically, um, encrypted data and tokenized data are fairly similar, uh, but encrypted data is just um, say like my name that's been encrypted, so like kind of scrambled up, and then. Um, you know, that encryption algorithm makes that data not visible to someone unless they have the uh, encryption algorithm. Tokenized data, on the other hand, is you can't decipher it um, and you can't reverse it back to its um, plain state. So basically, um, because there's no mathematical relationship between the token and the original number, um, tokens can't really um, be returned to their original form without um, you know, the separate data stored somewhere else. Um, so one of the benefits of using tokenized data is that if someone is able to hack into your system, um, they won't be able to compromise that data. They'll be able to access it, but it really will be meaningless because it's been tokenized. Um, basically, a token is a piece of data that holds the place for another more valuable piece of information. So, um, you know, say some, I'm an organization storing my credit card number somewhere, they might tokenize this so that if someone hacks into their database, all they get is the tokenized value. They don't get my credit card number, they can't steal that information, um, and they can't you know, harm the organization, they can't harm the users who they store that information about. Um, basically, um, another way to think about a token is just that, like a a token or a poker chip, basically. So somebody gives the casino money and they give them a poker chip that represents that money. Um, and so then even if somebody steals the, the chip, you know, they can't use it. They can't take it and spend it somewhere else. Uh, it's kind of protected. It can only be um, exchanged for the value that it has at that, at that place. Um, so... You know, we think about companies like Google and Facebook and Amazon who collect, you know, tons of data. They have these huge data centers full of information about people who interact with their services or who, um, you know, come in contact with their tracking technology on the Internet. Um, and if we think about the amount of data that that is, like that's pretty high risk to store um, in plain text. So, you know, if they stored my name and my social security number and my credit card number all in the same place, um, that creates a risk both for me and for the company that's storing it. So if someone were able to hack into that and steal the information, uh, if they were able to steal my credit card information, not only would it harm me, but it could harm the organization because one, it could harm their reputation that they're not protecting the data. And two, you know, there might be uh, legal results. So I might sue the company for losing that information, not taking the proper uh, steps to protect it. Um, so tokenization, I think, is a concept that, you know, more organizations need to embrace. It's pretty widely used, but um, it's another kind of privacy friendly practice or at least security friendly um, that um, kind of goes hand in hand with encryption, but it's just slightly different. Um, just because it involves like storing the actual information somewhere else and then using the token to kind of hold its place. Um, so yeah, that's tokenization in a nutshell. 
Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll uh, help you out there. But thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for more videos.